Howdy there folks, this is Lapidary Dave, and right now I'll be grinding uh, another piece of Sonora Stone. Sonoran Stone, whatnot. This time it's red. Uh, a few blue spots and green spots, and this black here. I'm gonna grind this on the 80, grind this on the 220, maybe a lick on the 220 on the faces, and then uh, finishing up here on the Easy Cab. I'm um, curious to see the difference between the red and the bluish green Sonora Stone and uh, how they grind. Alrighty. Paid a dollar for this piece. Anywho. Alrighty, folks, that was simple enough. I uh, just wanted to tighten up the end. I'm actually going for mass on this cut. I'm going to hit this with the 220 so that uh, I can save as much material as possible. I'm going to lick the faces. They're sawed up and down. I'll probably go this way to be against the grain so I know when I'm done. Uh, the last piece of Sonoran, the blue-green, kind of left a little bit of cottage cheese. The polish took care of it, but um, yeah, even when it was done, it was real, uh, real interesting the way the finish was left. I don't know if that's because I got a particularly soft piece, this is only a dollar, or if all bluish green Sonoran stone is soft like that. Personally, I prefer the pieces that have both the blue and the green. I had one piece of that and I broke it. Anywho, on to 220. Alrighty, folks, that is my 220 hard wheel. Hopefully, uh, I can maintain this shape. The 220 wheel on this Easy Cab is still pretty aggressive. I haven't gotten around to breaking all the wheels in yet. But uh, actually, I see one little spot. I'm going to tighten it up and uh, shoot straight to the 280. Alrighty, this is my 280. It took a little bit longer than necessary, but I was having tons of fun. The stone is awesome. I'm trying to give it to you folks dry, uh, then wet. Awesome. And this is the wetness. So I have a feeling that the red car is a little bit redder, uh, excuse me, a little bit better than the blue green. Uh, another reason why I'm taking so long is because I drilled my finger with a flex shaft today. Pretty deep. Should have made a video or should have been recording when I did that. Uh, anywho, on to the 600. This thing's polishing up very well. Yeah. 
Alrighty folks, we're here at the 600. Lots of definition and detail are starting to pop out. Uh, from here, my camera is looking real bad. Like it's not um, getting worse. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yeah, beautiful stone. Uh, it's actually, I'm going to make it into a pendant uh, with some turquoise. Anywho, on to the 1200. What were you going to say, brother? You that? Alrighty, folks. This is my 1200. Uh, drying her off as best I can. There we go. That is my 1200 dry. Already got a fantastic shine. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take her to 3000. Buff her up, take her inside, show you the finished product. Uh, I think I will drill this and uh, braid it up and put some turquoise on there before I ta uh, take it inside uh, and show you folks. Anywho, on to the 3000. Alrighty folks, here's my 3000. Let me dry it off for you. Alrighty, 3,000 on the diamond wheel. Got this thing blinging. Alright, this is a little bit wet. There's no safe place to put this down. Uh, when you get so into your grind and your kind of lapidary station is covered in slurry, there's no safe place to put her down. So um, I'm going to run this inside. Dry it off. Uh, yeah, drill it, braid it, finish it with these two little pieces of turquoise, and uh, show it to y'all better. Anywho, thank you so much for enjoying that with me. This is beautiful. Look at that little chili pepper. Eli, check out this chili pepper. <laughs> All right, gonna take her inside. Thank you, folks. Alrighty, folks, here I am with that piece of Sonoran Stone, Sonoran Sunrise, just whatnot. Uh, yeah, took a fantastic polish. Hit it with a bit of Zam. The plan was to have uh, two turquoise beads on the side of this, some black sinew and this copper bead. But um, I didn't like the way the two turquoise beads looked with this... Um, stone. So I'm going to scrap that idea, use black sinew, this copper bead, and one large turquoise bead to adjust the braided necklace to fit different size necks or to fit in between different size things. Anywho, thanks so much for watching. This stone is going to a benefit tomorrow. I hope the owner really, really likes it. This is Lapidary Dave. Thanks for chilling with me. Have a great day.
It's a biggie. I have the best time grinding ways. Have a great day.